Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Haven Farms. Let's build a mobile sheep tractor today. What are you building, babe? Sheep shack, shed, shack thing. Sheep, sheep shack. unit. So basically our chicken tractor, but turned in four sheep. And What's what we have on the land. But also completely different. But also completely different. We're gonna, I literally, so the paddock thing we just built, I miscalculated how much grass or sheep you're gonna eat somehow I don't know and so we have to just move paddocks more frequently and kind of we're not exactly scrapping that but we're scrapping part of it and so what we're gonna do is we'll build a paddock and then every probably I'll probably do a lot bigger paddocks and just one so we'll have them in that one paddock for a few days and then we'll load them up in here build a new paddock and before we finish the last wall we'll drag this over with the tractor into that paddock finish the paddock and then put you know open it up and let them eat that new paddock area and once it starts getting short we will repeat it's repeat so we have four and a half acres that we can rotate them on doing that so we'll take up as much as we need to for that. And we're just using stuff that we already have here. So cattle fencing or cattle panels. Two by four by sixteens. And two by four by eights and then zip ties. We started by making a rectangle. So we just have like four screws in each corner. Now we're screwing in these two by fours for lateral support. Rotational strength. Rotational strength. Cutting off the excess. Milwaukee sawzall or hack saw is what they call it. It's a one-handed, and then the Milwaukee impact driver. And it's all he used for that. Now we're attaching the cattle panel to the frame we built. We got it squared up and secured with these angle braces. So this will allow us to pull it without going on cattywampus and this should not be happening. We're using these, uh, I guess, fence staples to attach the cattle panel to the bottom frame. I'm just, I'm starting them and getting them about halfway in before we rotate the panel up. And then we'll rotate the pan all of all four of the panels, or three, I guess, of the panels up, zip time together, and then we can finish hammering these in so they won't move at all. These uh, staples, they kind of come with the bottom spread out, which makes it harder oftentimes to hammer in. For these, I always take them and hammer the, the two sides together a little bit so that they run parallel with each other. It just makes it a little easier to go in. These panels stood up now that they're all stapled in at the bottom. We're gonna zip tie them together for now just because I haven't come up with a final solution for this. So eventually I'll change out the zip ties for something a little bit stronger. Um, these are UV resistant, 
zip ties, so they should withstand the sun reasonably well. We're going to go ahead and use another 8 foot panel at that end, but we'll only zip tie it on one side. Uh, that way we can swing it open, let the sheep in, and then shut it. And I have uh, clamps essentially for that I put my electrical cords and uh, everything in, uh, together with. And we'll probably use two of those or three of those to go ahead and secure the end that won't be opening and closing. <laughs> Turns out we didn't need the tractor after all. side and then the gate for the battery will block off this side. And then I'm going to give the sheep some alfalfa, which they really seem to like. And in here, which will lure them all into here. Then we'll tear down the outside wall and use that for our paddock. And then we'll move it every probably three, three four or five days maybe, depending on the AKA area the every two days. <laughs> Depending on the, how much grass is left, how short it gets, and yeah, possibly. Oh, we need the hammer. John did not mean to leave that open. It was going so smoothly. When he takes his hat off like that and rubs his head, it's him um, thinking of something to do, thinking of a plan. success. Finally. It's actually working. Am I hitting their ankles? No, they're not. They're up. T they're up front. They do better than the chickens. You think I need to they're doing really good because I'm standing back here I think they're staying up like, where is your... maybe just come out and move, like, 
Yes. Now they're getting a little confused because you're turning. I think they're trying to eat now. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Poor babies. They're doing really good. So we've been using this for a few months now and we've been able to use it for not only our sheep but also our pigs and our dogs and it works out wonderful and it's holding up great. We did add some wire rope clips to strengthen it but other than that it is perfect. <laughs>